Hello Year 9, it's Mr Cox here. The Year 9 Humanities teachers have decided to introduce you to the first assessment task for biomes and food security a little bit differently. So we created this screencast. This screencast is not going to teach you how to complete the assessment, but just to introduce you to what is to come. So hopefully by the end of this video, you, you will be able to understand uh, and even create a to-do list uh, of what you need to do between now and then to complete the assignment. Before we get into the content, it's important to record these key dates. So I recommend that you pause this video now <clears throat> and add these to your homework diaries. So by now you might be asking, what is a flow line map? Well, a flow line map demonstrates movements or flows from one region to another. As illustrated on this map here, you can see that these black lines indicate flow. The direction of the flow is represented through the arrow uh, at the end of the flow line. These lines, or flows, represent the direction of the movement as indicated by the arrow and also by the place of origin. So people can pick up this map and they can understand that more people have migrated from Asia to the United States than what Australia has. You might also notice that each line is a different thickness. This represents volume. So we can see that more people from Asia or from Northern Europe have migrated to the United States than compared to Australia, New Zealand and Papua New Guinea. Here is another example of a flow line map, and this represents the major international trade movements in crude oil in 1999. And as you can see, once again, the thickness represents volume. And this is what you will need to do when you get a chance. So after you finish watching this video, I recommend you jump onto Edmodo and you have a look at the assignment sheet. And what you'll see on the assignment sheet is that we have supplied you with this table.
So now you're nine, it's time for you to go away and create a to-do list. So this is all the things that you need to do between now and next Monday to ensure that you hand in your assignment. If you've got any questions, uh, please look. You can use the comments section um, under this video to post questions or you can also uh, ask questions via Edmodo. Thanks for your time.